Welcome back to my battle map tutorial series. This time we are going to work on collecting art assets, basically the images or art we're going to add to our template. Previously, uh, in our previous steps, we've gone through and created our layer based template. Uh, you should have a grass layer, a dirt layer, and a water layer. Um, one other thing I talked about briefly was the scale that I normally use. I have added that out on my website, uh, miniworld.com. Um, you can see the URL and you can just save that off to add that. And that will allow you to just scale things as you need so people know how big your map is. So, art assets. Basically, Dungeon uh, is an application written a while back um, that uh, was for writing battle maps before battle maps were cool. And so you can easily find a lot of their art assets out there. There's a couple archives if you want to search for it. Um, I always have a problem finding them uh, that have zip files of a lot of the archives they have. But basically what you want to do is to find most of your art assets. Is just type in Dund Genie, D-U-N-D-J-I-N-I, or J-I-N-N-I. And then the item that you're looking for. So in this case, we're going to build a uh, log cat or a cabin in the woods. So we're going to type in Dungeon Roof um, and go here. And as you can see, there's lots of roofs out there um, and even more. And so we're just going to save that image off. And let's just go to a tutorial directory. And we'll save that there. So then you can just go here, file open. Uh, Genie, oops. Okay, control A, and we're just going to copy that over and put that on our image. And again, we're just going to offset it a little bit. Next thing we're going to want to do is add a chimney. So again, I've already gone out and searched, but just again, Dungeon Chimneys. And you can find all different types of chimneys that you want to add. We're going to add one with smoke. Now, one thing you want to be careful about is some of these have a white background. Oh, not that one. Interesting. I downloaded one earlier and it had a uh, white background. So you just want to make sure that it has the transparent background. Other guys, you have to clean the image up. So again, here's our chimney. So we just go back there and we're going to open up our chimney. And again, you can copy it over and put it there. But you notice it's a very big chimney compared to our roof. So again, you can just scale that down, control T uh, in Photoshop. And so we're just going to scale that. And we're just going to have our smoke going off in a direction like that. Okay. Again, I just want to try and keep that clean. So then we're going to look for some trees to add to our map. And they've got lots of trees out there. So again, just Dungeon and the tree. Um, you can do other things. Um, and let's just go down through. Uh, yeah, I'm not big happy with that tree. they got dead trees. Um, so that's again they got the white background here's one let's save that and we'll get one more tree and we'll go with the pine tree i guess looks a little fake let's is this one a little bit better yeah this one's a little bit better our other one looked a little bit too artificial <laughs> okay and we'll just load those images up real quick and again we'll drag those layers over and that's a little big for a pine tree, so control T. And then we'll just go there. And we'll shift him, put him there. We're going to make a copy of him, so duplicate layer. And we're going to put him down there. Again, we'll just rotate him a little bit. And then I'm just going to also just go to adjust color levels. I'm just going to adjust his color a little bit, just make him a little bit different you know so again all your trees don't look alike now two things you notice real quickly is these trees sort of look like they're flat part of the ground whereas the roof has a little bit of a drop shadow to it so all we're going to do is add a drop shadow real quick you just go to blending adjustments drop shadow okay and you can see that's there and so we're just going to reduce that down a little bit um, so it looks like it's underneath it and it gives it much more and then i can just copy that layer style and apply it and it looks like that so again here we'll just duplicate that layer and we'll throw you know another tree up there and where's our other trees that was a pine tree 
we've got this tree, it's a little bit grayish tree. Um, now I'm gonna let color that guy just a little bit again. Go here, uh, color balance. We're gonna add just a little bit of green to them. Actually, let's try this. Let's go image, new saturation. Adjust it there, maybe. There we go. Still looking a little bit too gray. I use those trees for my uh, swamp maps, which are nice. And let's try this. Play around with it, okay. But still a little bit too green, I think. But good enough for now. And so that's that guy. Here's our yellow tree. And right there. And you'll notice that a lot of them already have those drop shadows on there. Um, so we'll put that guy there. We'll duplicate him. Put another one down here. And we'll actually put one of these there. Okay. And that's for our trees. Next thing we want to go out, we'll, we're going to get some woods uh, for our wood pile. Okay. We're going to save this. Now, again, here's the white background, as I mentioned previously. Um, as you can see, but I'll show you quickly how to clean that up. Um, it's fairly simple within there. You just hear, uh, and if it's a high contrasting, white to dark, you can set this pretty high, so, you know, 76 and not worry about it. It's when the contrast is less that you sort of have to worry about it. So again, I just unlock that, cut out the background, and I now have transparency. Now, normally you'd wanna save this as your wood pile. I'm not gonna bother saving it because I already have it. And so then I'm going to just move him along the side of the house. And I'm just going to scale him down a little bit. Okay. Now you can see I wanted to like stuff him under the edge of the roof, but he's above it. And that's just dealing with the layer levels. So I'm just going to move him down below my roof. I should probably be labeling these for future reference. Otherwise it gets hard to find your art assets down the road. Okay, so we're just going to close him off. Then we're going to get some barrels. Here's a barrel filled with water. We're going to put in. Okay, and here's a barrel. As you can see, there's lots of barrels. Um, and again, all I'm doing is Dungeony, and then the, art, the item that I'm looking for. So we'll just open those two barrels. And then we'll just copy those over. So again, that's a pretty big barrel for five feet, you know. So again, we're just going to scale that down. And that looks good. I'm going to make a couple barrels right there. Copy him again. Okay, then we're going to go over here and grab my water barrel. And again, he's too big. We're going to scale him down. Control T. And we'll put him, he's underneath the corner, direct catching the water. Okay. So then we're, whoops. Then we're going to go over here. Let's look for some crates. Uh, there's a crate with uh, looks like an animal in it. Let's just get a uh, empty crate. Okay, we're gonna open the crate up and go from there and just shrink him down a little bit. And again, this your your whoops hit a little bit too much. Uh, your scaling is gonna be depend upon your map size, um, so you may have to decrease these or you may even have to increase them. Okay, that's a little bit too much. I'm scaling that guy down. Okay, so that's about five feet. There we go. So we're going to put that under there. We're going to give him a friend. And we're going to twist him. And then we'll put one more. And we'll actually stack these guys. Okay, there we go. We'll actually put one of our barrels over there as well. Okay. And then we're going to go out here. We're going to do axes. As you can see, they have lots of weapons if you're looking for fantasy weapons. Here, we're going to grab this log. Again, it's got the white background. Um, so we're going to have to clean this up slightly. And where's the axe? There we go. So again, I'm just going to grab my tool. And again, with threshold, and just maybe get a little bit closer. There, cut the background out. Control A, copy it all and paste it. And again, it's a little bit too big. Okay. Okay, and he's missing a drop shadow. So again, we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna paste our current drop shadow because once you have it set up for one, it's usually pretty good for all the assets in there. 
And then lastly, we'll go out and grab some bushes. Okay. Um, there are some bushes. Uh, not too thrilled with those. Uh, I like the ferns. They've got a lot of nice ferns out there. Um, there's another one that looks more like a jungle bush, though. Um, let's see what else we can find. There's some more ferns. We'll just go with that. So again, there's our plant and our two ferns. One fern, two fern. So that we'll see how that guy looks i'm not sure i'm gonna be liking him but we'll try him okay he's okay i'll close off some of these barrels and crates now again normally you would want to save that image um, and add it to your art assets so here again i'm going to create the ferns ferns can get pretty big and again he looks like he's on the ground I'm just going to paste my drop shadow on him, give him a little 3D effect. And then we'll grab the other fern. And resize him. And it looks like he's already got a little bit of a shadow on him. And we're going to add it anyways. Just, yep, there we go. Okay. So again, we'll maybe duplicate him and just move him around. Put one over by the tree. One tree and duplicate him and again just twist them around so they don't all you know it, br it breaks up the eye and stuff so there we have our basic uh, map for cabin in the woods and how to get art assets next we're gonna work on adding rivers and streams and then on to drop shadows thank you for watching bye